All right, so walking out to my first spot. Uh, Weather-wise, it is a beautiful day today. It's a mixture of sunshine and clouds. It's probably 65 degrees. Yeah, my shoe's untied. <laughs> my son's in Cabo, and he took my sandals by mistake. So I'm um, wearing regular shoes, which is different for me. Anyway, let's go find some snakes. All right, here we go. First piece, that'd be a lie. This is like piece number 20, and still nothing. But it only takes one. Not that one, but it only takes one. There's one over here. How about this one to change my whole day? Uh, no. <laughs> give me a snake, give me a snake. Nothing under that one. Come on, where are you at, snakes? Where are you at? Oh, there's a rattlesnake over here. Cool, first snake, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna lift it from this end. He's over there, or at least he was. Now, you, you can't be assured that's where he still is, but he didn't look like he had any signs of movement. So let's look again. And yeah, there he is. I'm gonna prop this up with my knee so I can get a little bit better video. Hold on. So there we go, Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Not a very big one, but a pretty patterned one. You can see the rattle, I don't know, four or five rattles on it. I love these guys. Can't really do much, I don't have a hook, and I, I'd just leave them anyhow, but uh, what a sweet snake, huh? I love the looks on these guys. I know snakes don't really have, you know, facial expressions, but, uh, you know, <laughs> that looks like don't fuck with me. And there's good reason for that. Here's a quick shot from directly on top, just to make out the patterns. Really cool looking species. Pretty variable as far as color and pattern. But I'm digging this one. All right, so I'm gonna leave this guy be. Um, you can only take so much video of a snake that's not moving. Um, I took a few different angles, but uh, put the cover back down, leave him alone and see if we can find something else. I'm sure we'll find a couple of these today. All right, so, yeah, really stoked. Southern Pacific Rattlesnake, a common find, but I'm on the board. Let's look for some more. Nah, one of these Jerusalem beetle things. No snakes. Now, I thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Be a little careful, as always, but... Now, if I heard something, it wasn't from under here. This piece is feeling kind of snaky. I don't know why. I'm going to set the camera down. Is it? Oh, it looks good. Is there anything under it? No, I don't see anything, sadly. All right. I'll tell you, this plant out here, I don't know if you pronounce it anise or anise or what, but it's like, it smells like licorice. And if you ever get snake musk on your hands, it's really good to get the smell off. Darn it, nothing. How about this piece? How about this piece? Not to be, not to be. I don't think I've looked under this one yet. Oh, and I have it because there's a little king right here. All right, so I'm trying to get him to calm down just a little so I can handle him a little bit better. I don't mind taking a bite by this guy, he's not that big. But it just stresses a snake more than I have to, so we'll let him calm down and then I'll pick him up a little bit uh, better for some better video. But yeah, normal banded king snake. And that anise or anise I mentioned earlier, I'm going to need it because he musts all over me. He's got a couple cool dots right on the top of his head. Um, I don't know how well it's going to turn out or focus, but uh, the rest of him is just a typical banded king snake. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. And he's not a very big snake. He's probably, you know, not two feet long. Anyway, I've gotten a few shots. Hopefully enough shots. He wasn't very cooperative. He tried to bite a bunch, and I just don't want to stress him. So I'm going to put him back. I'm actually going to put him back on top, and we can maybe get a shot as he takes off. 
It's funny how quickly they disappear in here. Like, you'll never find them in there. And it's also possible he found a hole right there. All right, so my hand smells terrible. My camera smells awful. Um, I'm going to try and hunt down that anise or anise plant to try and get rid of some of the smell. But uh, awesome, totally worth it. So snake number two, California king snake, and I'm still looking. So on the way back to the car, I am searching for that wild anise, anise plant. <laughs> and go figure, there's none in this area. Um, yeah, well, there was a bunch in one area, and there's none here so far. I'll keep looking. If not, I got a towel in the car. All right, no anise. I was cleaning the windows of my car earlier, so I do have some glass plus, <laughs> which probably not great to spray it like directly on your hands, but if you guys don't know, king snake musk, it smells awful, and I really don't want it on the steering wheel and everything else I touch, so oh, that's a little better. All right, let's go to a different spot, see if we can't find something else. So at my second spot, and of course, <laughs> plenty of this plant here. Um, it's a little late, but I'm still going to use some. Oh, it smells awesome. It smells so good. All right. I don't know if you can see there is this butterfly flying right here. It's the California state butterfly called an orange tip. And I know it just looks white right now, but if I can get close enough to it, I'll zoom in so you can see what it really looks like. Come on, land, land, right there. Come on, do it. I know you want to. <laughs> I may never get this shot. Oh, he landed. You can sort of see him there. The clouds are out. It's kind of cloudy, so you can't really see all that great. And I think there's a male and a female, and the tips look different, whether it's a male or a female. I don't know which one this is, but at least I got the shot. Took me long enough chasing this guy around. Come on, how about a racer, coach whip, something like that. That'd be cool. Real quick stop to appreciate the beauty of that. That's awesome, isn't it? I love prickly pears when they're in bloom. And I can't say that very well, prickly pears when they're in bloom, but I like it, really cool. Yeah, I see you. I don't know if that's a falcon or what that is, but it uh, looks like he's doing a little hunting kind of like I am. Pretty damn cool. All right, this one looks good. Looks like it hasn't been touched for a while. Is it gonna be good for me? Oh, big ass tarantula. I'm not a fan to be honest, but uh, kind of cool. Oh yeah, come on baby. Setting the camera down for this lift. Give it to me. Uh, no. All right. Something cool under here. I feel it. I feel it. I feel, I feel, oh yeah, striped racer right here. He's gonna bite me. Oh, I got him though. All right, so he's sort of frozen here for a second. Well, a second was about right. I am holding him still, as you can see, because it's my only chance to get any video. But what a beautiful snake. If he calms down, maybe I'll get something else, but we'll see. I'm going to put the camera down and see what happens. I mean, look at that. All right, so instead of moving him back under the board, I'm just going to let him go. His tail is now free. And we'll see how long he sits here. He's totally free to go now. He's pretty big. He's probably four feet long at least. But what a beautiful snake. Like, this made my day. The king snake was cool. 
but I'm liking this even more. I'm guessing if I stand up, he'll go. So I'm gonna do that right now and see what happens. Well, no, <laughs> I'll just back away. Look at that snake. I mean, look at that snake, huh? Interesting to see him frozen right here. I thought he'd be gone already. Just sitting motionless here. I guess waiting till I leave. And I want to watch him go. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to watch him go. So I'll back off far enough and give him some space. Maybe I'll take some pictures from back here if he's going to stay, because that's just too cool with the cactus behind it. Yeah, he's looking back at me. Let's just touch his tail a little. There he goes. <laughs> not sure if you saw that or not, but he is gone. And I am beyond stoked. Um, one of my favorite finds, I don't know, something about that snake, how perfectly those lines run down the side. It's just so perfect. I was hoping for a racer today, a coach whip or, you know, a striped racer, and I got the striped racer. Maybe I'll find a coach whip. I'm still looking. Um, got a few more things to flip, and uh, we'll see. One more snake would be nice. Not required, <laughs> but it would be nice. Darn it, nothing under that one. I'm going racer, coach whip, or rattlesnake. <laughs> or how about all three? That'd be awesome. Or none. That's not awesome, but that's the way it goes. Nothing. Come on, one more snake, one more snake. A uh, scorpion. I don't know all the different scorpion species, but uh, I know enough to leave them alone when I see them. And that's what I'm gonna do with this one. All right, buddy. There's your cover back. All right, so a uh, Southern Pacific rattlesnake, a king snake, and a striped racer. <laughs> I'll take that any day. Could I have found more? Maybe, but uh, you know, three snakes of three different species is always a win in my book. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see ya. Papa Jet 650 Cross Flipper at 1010,000, 250 knots, Miami altimeter is 295. 295 Cross Flipper at 1010,000.